Hello. So our next video in our series for Deaf History Month is focusing on one of our friends who is deaf blind and her name is Abby. So she's going to be giving you some deaf blind history. Really cool. I look forward to seeing what she has to say. Yes, let's get started. Hello, everyone. My name is Abby. Deaf blindness is diverse. Many of you probably know who Helen Keller is, and some of you might know Laura Bridgman. She was the first deafblind person to receive an education around the year 1850. Now, I'm Canadian, and so I thought that I would represent Canadian deafblind history. So I decided to pick a person who's well known in deafblind history in Canada. That person's name is Charles Allen Crane. Crane was born in 1906 in Toronto, Ontario. He became deafblind by contracting spinal meningitis and he was around nine months old at the time. After that, his family moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, and that was in 1911. At that time, his mother taught him the manual alphabet, or fingerspelling, and then he was able to identify objects. Now, Charles was really mischievous. He loved climbing on things like tables and chairs and furniture, anything. One of his favorite things to do, though, was he would take a ball and he would throw the ball against a glass window and then he could feel the vibrations from the ball hitting the window. And then he moved to the Halifax School for the Deaf. And that's where he received a formal language. After about a year, his vocabulary skyrocketed. He was able to learn how to communicate really well with sighted people. And that's through them touching and fingerspelling into his left hand. And then after five years, he returned to Vancouver. And there, he is the first deafblind person to be admitted to the University of British Columbia. That was in 1931. And while he was there, he studied journalism. He eventually became a reporter for a company called the UBC. And also, he was a varsity wrestler. From approximately 1934 to 1947, Crane took regular books and translated them into Braille with the assistance of a sight reader. Over 30 years, he collected and translated so many books into Braille, approximately 2,000 500 books. And those are currently stored at the University of British Columbia. Because of Crane and his transcribing things into Braille, this is still one of the largest Braille collections in Canada. Crane was an active member in the deafblind community, such as the Canadian National Institute of the Blind, as well as two other organizations. And his death was really quick and quite unique. He died at a barber shop of an unknown cause in 1965 at age 59. Wow, that was interesting. I didn't know anything about deafblind Canadian history. You learn something new every day, right? Yeah, that's amazing about all of those collections of Braille books. That's a huge collection. How impressive. Yes, that is a lot of books. Okay, well... 
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you've learned something about Canadian deafblind history. If you're Canadian, let us know. That'd be cool. I don't know who's Canadian that watches our videos. Maybe you already knew about Charles Allen Crane before. Maybe not, but now you know. Yep. Okay, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please click like and remember to subscribe. Soon we'll be done with our Deaf History Month series, but remember, we want you guys to leave comments. What other series do you want to know? What other topics do you want for videos? Let us know. Okay. Also, remember, we have a Patreon page, so if you're interested in supporting us, we'd appreciate that. We'd love to expand the channel, contact more people, maybe one day do some traveling. That'd be great. And if not, leave a comment. That's great, too. All right, see you in the next video. Bye! Deaf culture, interpreting, those type of things. But what about other topics, other things? You know, we have other interests, so why not do more videos in sign language? So we thought.